shop oh before i show you guys the shop i want to show you this drink um ranch water that i saw on tiktok oh gosh you're on tiktok again i am always on tiktok and i learn everything from there and it's called ranch water but with pineapple juice okay and with casamigos that's the Ooh, that's a good Clooney stuff one. yeah you said george clooney yes yeah. so um i'm gonna try it so they said to do the topo chico Mm. And then you gotta drink it, or oh, then the bubbles hurts my throat. You gonna burp on camera? Ah, so you make room, <laughs> and then you do a uh, a shot of this. I don't know how big a shot is. I guess it's however big you're brave enough to do. Like that. Really? And, Maybe. Oh, so look? strong. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you can have this one. <laughs> And then you put that in here and then you do pineapple juice. So this kind of doesn't make it like ranch water, but it's okay. Can I pour it over? Ooh! Okay, let me just put it in here. Kenny's gonna get mad. <laughs> you put it Because tabletop will launder, right? Probably, I don't know. Oh! Ah. <laughs> I spilled it. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on, let me drink some more. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Kenny's very OCD and he's gonna be like, oh my God, you got tequila on the exhaust. It's just on the table, so I think. Just don't really on the exhaust. Don't tell him. You're fine. Okay, lime. I don't have the fresh. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they do this on TikTok. They're so flawless. And then the tahine. Okay. Here's the. Let's. It was at this moment Luna knew she fed up. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is such a fail. <laughs> is it good though? Okay, it's really good, but we made a mess. Um, I'm gonna make you your own drink where I didn't like slobber all over it. All right, cheers. Cheers. Surprisingly good. Uh, hey, so Luna, for it. our first time viewers, would you mind showing us around the shop and kind of telling everybody what we're about? Yes. Kamikaze, blinded by the show, lies, paparazzi. They know I'm a gold mine, everybody. Know me where I go, why suicidal? Hang you in the low. I'm the legend. This is the existing shop. It's in Garland, Texas. And he has his race cars here, so. I look pretty serious. He used to be a professional drag racer back in the day. Um, early 2000s, but he won um, NHRA championships in these two cars right here. And so it looks like a Scion TC right here with a giant turbo. Yes. Holy crap. So that's, I believe, a 74 millimeter turbo. Yeah. And as you can see, Chase you got is a, driving. A young wheelman in here. Very violent, please. <laughs> So he's taking the footsteps of, of dad. What are your favorite wheels on the wall right now? Right now, I'm loving the, that one, the Rays. Those look pretty nice. It's very um, clean and the color is good, matches with pretty much any color car, but. Well, I, I heard you might be getting into another GTR, so maybe, uh, Maybe some of those on them if you get, get one. Yeah. Rays on, yes. Tell you what, I noticed on the way in, there's quite a bit of trophies. Are these all Kenny's or are these kind of a, a mixture? Or? Yeah, so this is all, um, it's a mixture. Mo well, most of it is like all his, but it's all like Joe Tech stuff. The guys work really hard to earn these trophies. This is the rare ones that he's won. And you can see the Texas 2K ones over here too, on the bottom. I have two right there from Texas 2K and some of our customers who've raced that one. 
as well. So this is just a collaborative collection. Right here are a few more of the trophies as well. And that's like his poster when he was sponsored with Quaker State when he was more of that professional drag racer. Hit you up or stick you up. Don't you know that my homeboy's hip enough? And if you ever want to go toe to toe, or blow for blow, I'd be like the Sopranos. Forget about it. So proud of him. <laughs> so let's head over here. If you guys want to see the back oh, of the shop. Or where the magic happens. You got to show where us. the magic happens. So right yeah, yeah. here we have the right and left hand guys of Joe Tech and this is Kevin. He can never get fired because this is Kenny's nephew. <laughs> and tell us what you're doing, Kevin. Playing Clash of Clans. <laughs> he can never get fired. And over here we have Tony and he's been here since the beginning of it when Kenny was out professional racing. He was at the track helping him win championships. But Tony, tell us what you do. And this is Kelly. Hi. I'm a babysitter, <laughs> full time babysitter. I do uh, a lot of advising, you know, consulting for a lot of clients. You, you help people avoid right. their warranties? I void warranties. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're, if you're worried about your warranty, this is not for you. And over here we have our guard dog. Come here, Zilla. <laughs> this is our guard dog, Zilla. She's been here since she was a baby. So be careful, guys. If you come after the shop, Zilla will come after you. All right, let's go see where the magic happens. Ta -da! Oh, it's like a candy shop. Also, that's a 600 LT. We need to know more yes, about this one. Let's talk to Christian, because Christian is the number one guy when it comes to mclarens and he's the specialist so tell us what you're working on well we're just buttoning up a stage three on this uh 600 lt our jotex stage three is upgraded pure turbos we uh upgrade the downpipes uh tune it so how many horsepower do you think you're gonna get out of this um we're hoping to get about 800 or a little over 800. <laughs> Nice. 800? How much boost is that going to take? Um, I would guess uh, we're probably going to try to shoot for upper 20s. Holy cow, wow. okay. Gavin, if you're watching my dude, please take me for a ride whenever it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Christian. So right back here, we have all the other cars they're working on. We have a few GTRs. So this is gonna be a three plus and this is gonna have turbos, exhaust, a new fuel system. So it's gonna go super fast too. We'll update you on the numbers and dyno and street testing and everything. And if you guys don't follow Gacho on Insta, go follow his page. He's an absolute madman in this thing. You know what? Just roll footage right here. <laughs> Hey, so Luna, you think we're gonna be ready for the Race Series 2.0 in September? Yes, we have Seth's C8 Red Corvette, and we also have Trevor's GTR right here. So unfortunately, he suffered engine loss, and um, he missed the Rocky Mountain Race Week for this year, but we for sure will get it ready for September. So as you can see on the engine, we're gonna get that put in this week and get him ready for the race. So you're gonna see this car fly September. And Trevor drives the absolute piss out of this thing. That guy can drive. And Trevor comes from Canada. And so he's so passionate about drag racing. He brings his car all the way from Canada. Sometimes he even drives it from Canada and um, brings it to Joe Tech. We get him set up and then he is on his way to race. Hi, Kenny. I just want you to tell your viewers um, about the history and your background with this whole, with a shop, with a company. So, um, the tea. history. Okay. So I'll give you the, the short version. So the short version of it. So my brother-in-law formed this company back in 95 and uh, I worked for him for two years before we uh, took it over. And in the beginning it was pretty tough. I got to tell you, I mean, we had a 800 square feet building that we rented. I mean, at the time we were one of the first uh, high performance shop, import high performance shop here in Dallas, Fort Worth. And uh, it was 
pretty hard trying to convince and, and sell these products because no one, I mean, there wasn't really a market for it. We had to buy the cars, go out through all the car meets, car races, and kind of show everybody uh, what we do. And nobody was interested in fixing up a Honda Civic. I mean, it's a economy car, you know. It's yeah. kind of a, I mean, you were doing Civics and what else back then mostly? Civics and Integra, that's, that's yeah. basically the two platform back then. It's front wheel drive, four cylinder with a 120 horsepower. You know, when you're in Camaro Mustang country here, you know, this that's not kid or so. We're bringing out a Honda, people are gonna laugh at you. You know, and that was the mm -hmm. that was the norm back then for us. We were we were the ultimate underdog. You know, bringing out a 110 horsepower Honda Civic try to run against the Mustang. But you know, over time we kind of proved ourselves and and built these cars, made them fast, went up, you know, um, to a few races here in Ennis. We went down to Baytown, so we start running the cars and, um, you know, so after two years, I, you know, we took over and, you know, we put more money into the racing program. We went racing more. So you got um, sponsored too, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, so um, that was a long road leading up to that. But uh, yeah, we were, um, we got sponsors. Um, one of wow. the biggest uh, sponsorship um, that we acquired was from Quaker State. Nice. Uh, and at that time, we were still running the, the Honda Civic, and you know, we broke and 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 held a lot of records back then with that platform. What was your world record? Um, so we had several. So it was one of them was the uh, we did it here first in Texas, so first one in the nines here in Texas, and then we um, we broke the world record. I think back in '99, November '99 in Pomona, I remember that one. That was a milestone for us because we ran four nine-second passes in a row. We, went through the competition um, and, and we set the world record at 9.78 and that was pretty that was pretty quick back then in 99. Is it still a record for that No, car? no, absolutely not. No? I mean right now <laughs> <laughs> the same cars are, are running uh, high sevens I think, uh, something ridiculous. I mean, yeah. Wow. yeah. Um, I think when I retired a Honda Civic back then, uh, back in 2005, the uh, quickest time that I ran in that car was at 802 at 184 mile per hour. Wow, one yeah. before. Yeah, so moving forward, uh, we picked up Scion as, as Scion Toyota uh, as another sponsor, and we moved into the Scion platform, continue racing. So we were uh, on the road uh, a lot, um, sometimes 24, 26 races and events uh, in a year. So while you're a professional race car driver for 10 years, the shop was still open, or did you close it down? No, we, we never closed the shop down. The, the shop continued as, as, as normal. Wow. Um, <laughs> that was a really, really rough time. It, looking back on it, it, it was hard. It was very hard, but it was so fun because I still miss mm -hmm. it today. Yeah. So would you ever go back on the road doing Absolutely that? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me interview you and being on camera. <laughs>